Hollywood, Nandi Moweta, your reaction Friday. Mm. Well, Shaka, he passed on on the Friday in the spe special month, this month of Ramadan. Uh, he's been living with this pain from the world of boxing. Uh, Allah has welcomed him. He's at peace. And it, uh, I think uh, we will never forget Muhammad Ali. I still remember watching that fight at 3 a.m. in Lagos, Nigeria. The eight-round knockout, the whole city exploded, you know. <laughs> and uh, his legacy will always live on. Very interesting. Uh, now, of course, uh, you talked about uh, 3 a.m. in Lagos, and he, of course, uh, Sunny Young was telling us, uh, waking up to watch the rumble in the jungle, <laughs> boy, the match, in fact, uh, had been rigged in the favor of the Americans. It is the Africans <laughs> that had to wake up very, very early in the morning. And I remember, in fact, waking up very early in the morning in the Ugandan capital Kampala around 4 a.m. <laughs> but, Shaka, don't forget that the Americans were the ones that were paying the bulk of the money from pay-per-view. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> the Africans put up the money, which was $5 million a piece per fighter. Uh, the bulk of the rest of the money was coming in from the U.S. and the rest of the world. And that was 8 p.m. prime time in the U.S. Very interesting. Uh, now, of course, uh, uh, Hollywood Nandi Maweta, I know, of course, that you are, among other things, a boxing promoter. What would you say that was perhaps the, the, uh, the effect, really, from the rumble in the jungle to African boxers? I'm talking, of course, uh, 1994 fight between then world champion George Foreman and then challenger Muhammad Ali. Well, Shaka, after that fight, uh, there was something all the kids were doing in the neighborhood called the alley shuffle, the rope-a-dope. <laughs> as, <we tra> as we travel around Africa, putting on shows, if it's Bukam in Ghana or in Lagos, Nigeria, the, the, the mainland boxing club, or in Soweto, all, all the young ones are practicing the alley shuffle, the rope-a-dope, <laughs> and his fast hands. But we cannot, I mean, we cannot uh, forget that. He brought a lot to the game, and right after the rumble in the jungle, the sports of boxing really, really came alive, and lots of other boxers came up uh, right after that because he brought a lot into the game in Africa. Now, what do you think is likely to be his lasting, his lasting legacy, Hollywood Moweta? Uh, what he stood for, what he fought for, and the fact that uh, he's the first fighter to be a global ambassador. I mean, the first fighter to have that global reach. What we have today is a bunch of pretenders. Uh, if you ask me today, who is the heavyweight champion of the world? Can you name one or two? No. I can't but during hear, the I days can't, of Mohammed. During the days of Muhammad Ali, you say, who is the heavyweight champion of the world? You can say, yes, it's Muhammad Ali. It's Muhammad Ali. Hmm. What, what about uh, some who say um, Hollywood Nandi Moweta that, uh, yes, uh, Muhammad Ali was obviously a great, great boxer, uh, but that perhaps uh, he basically used boxing, really, as a platform to accomplish other larger goals. Uh, mainly, we're talking about uh, his role in the civil rights, we're talking about uh, his humanitarian aspect. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, those are things that will always be said when we mention Muhammad Ali. Um, today in the game, Floyd Mayweather, who is like the number one box, boxer in the, on, on the planet today, he will not be able to do what Muhammad Ali has been able to do over the years, what he stood for. Uh, the friendship he developed, not only in Africa, around the globe. Very interesting, Nandi. Hollywood, uh, Nandi Mawet, of course, uh, it was a pleasure, of course, having you on Straight Talk Africa, and we look forward to having you again next time around. Thanks a lot. You're most welcome.